I'm Fernando Uribe coming to you from Town Hall in West New York as I share some highlights from a very uneventful zoning board meeting on Monday, September the 16th, including Chairman Kenneth Blaine. There were only five members present during tonight's meeting. Thus, there wasn't a sufficient amount of affirmative votes necessary to move forward with the agenda. As a result, all the items on tonight's agenda were indeed postponed until the next scheduled meeting. During the public portion, a couple of residents came up and spoke in front of the board and shared their thoughts about not just the zoning laws, but the lack of a presence on the board for some time now. Mr. Blaine, how could um, this consistent problem that's been going on now for a few months be squared away finally? There's been a few meetings that have had to be canceled due to not having the proper amount of people here. How could this situation be resolved? I mean, I'm sure it's an inconvenience for everybody on this board. If it's worse than that, it's embarrassing. Besides being embarrassing, I didn't want to call it that, but thank you for your right. Oh, I know that. I'm chair of the board. I've been chair of this board under two administrations now, and the only reason why I stay is not a stability. Okay, that is, that is the truth. And also my love for West New York and my respect for the land that you use for. That being the case, what I tell everybody, and I, I said it constantly, is to go to the commissioner's meeting. They're the ones that appoint. In fact, I had a nice discussion tonight with the business administrator. And uh, what's important is not only to appoint board members, but to appoint board members who understand the responsibility and the importance of this board, if none other, so that they will attend meetings. And if they have a kid or two and the kid, uh, you know, cries or something, that's not an excuse not to come. Or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying. There's always an excuse not to come. I have an excuse all the time not to come. All right? But I haven't missed a meeting, I don't think, since I was originally appointed. Only because, including travel. I love to travel. Uh, because I try to schedule things around these meetings. Because I think that's how important this board is. This board, I don't want to vote, this board determines the land use um, developments in the town. In a town that's overly populated, that has great diversity, that is beloved by most people who live here for various reasons. Yes, sir. Uh, Doug Borden, uh, 6600 Boulevard East, apartment 12G. I just wanted to reiterate what Frank said. I thought it's, uh, you know, it's borderline, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but it's borderline uh, suspicious that whenever we have a big vote and the applicant doesn't feel like it's going, might go his way, we have a lot of people drop out. I mean, this was on the docket for two or three months. Everybody should have known this was on the calendar. We had 50 or 60 people for the Feliz matter ready to come, and they all had it on their calendar. So I know I don't want to be the dead horse. You addressed it, and I appreciate you addressing it. But just to go one step uh, further, I would really think it's, it's really starting to get a little bit suspicious. Uh, also, just, just so that the people that are here in attendance tonight know that you know you're seeing the same cast of characters and the same attorney and all these applicants okay so I want to impress upon it that you have to watch out for this board has a tendency to rubber stamp some of the applicants that are coming through so I advise everybody to do their due diligence <coughs> and, and this may be a little bit of a blessing for you because now you'll be able to get your uh, Oprah documents in line and know a little bit more about the issues because they could have very well voted on this tonight for your and if you had any concerns eh, that's it, you know? So this will give you a little bit of an advantage. Um, that's just my two cents for whatever it's worth. Thank you so much for watching. For more programming, please go to HudsonCountyTV.com. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, stay classy, everyone.